Hi, and welcome back to Kira's Workshop. For this video, I'm going for a quite different direction. You should know that I love horror, and I really wanted to create a very dark creature. I'm so excited to say that this project is actually a collaboration with an awesome artist, Christina from Dolomentary. Ever since I found her channel, I've been quite a fan, and I just needed to collaborate with her. And we decided to go for a fire nice theme, and my pick was fire. This is the concept art I made for her. Her name is Inferna, a dark destructive titan that wants to see the world burn. So, let's begin! For this I'm using this Cat Noir doll, starting by removing her face with pure acetone. That glitter is really stubborn, so make sure you scrape that really hard. I'm leaving her sculpt pink because we're going to use a lot of paint for this. We don't need those ears, so let's cut them with an exacto knife. Okay, so you saw my concept, and you may think, how the hell are you going to make that rock appearance? Or maybe you didn't. This is a very cool foam putty, which can be molded and after letting dry it maintains its form. I took a little piece of it and started creating a rocky form. I need this rock to have angles so I can match other pieces later just like a puzzle. So with a nail file I'm going to make those sharp edges. And once I'm happy, I'm using the tip to give it a rougher look. When it dries, it looks like this. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to hot glue all these little rocks all over the body. Infern is a very big girl, so we need a ton of rocks. I'm making all of these on top of a plastic bag, so I can peel them off later. I'm making a lot of sizes, from very small to very big ones. The big ones will be very useful because they cover more space. The face needs some rocks too. I'm covering her nose and mouth. This foam putty does not blend perfectly, so you will end with rough edges. Some sharp rocks for her brow bone. And then the fun part, giving this volcanic titan some rocks that resemble a rocky crown. I'm cutting off some of the putty and sculpting sharp edges with my nail file, all the way around. I decided to go for this putty instead with epoxy clay, because it's way lighter, and I really don't want this doll to weigh a lot.
After all that sculpting, you should end with this Lady Sauron look, or Lady Groot, whoever it resembles you. And as I told you, we are going to paint this lady with black acrylic. This is the part I love the most, watching everything fuse together. What I like about this doll is that it's really black, the paint matches perfectly to her skin tone. And then, we are left with this awesome head. As I'm going to paste the rocks on the contour of her body, I need to secure her legs to prevent they move while doing this process. So I'm going to use some tape for this. all the way up to her hips. If you have seen some lava videos, you may recall it's really a game of colors. The red, yellow, orange, black and some things graphite. So I'm giving her head this look by dry brushing some silver paint. Dip in your brush and then clean the excess paint so you can start adding some color. All over the head. This method gives so much depth and texture. And now for the fun part, adding the rocks. Using hot glue, I started just at the center. And then I'm trying to match all the rocks. That's why I gave them some flat edges. I wanted this doll to have a trumpet skirt look, so just at the level of the knees I'm pasting the rocks with an angle. After that, all you have to do is to fill up the spaces. It's really satisfying when those rocks match perfectly, isn't it? Sorry for the color change, I ran out of the white putty and all I had left is this brown.
and after all that time and patience, you end up with this awesome rocky skirt. We will paint it black just like the head. And add the dry brushing technique. Okay, so you're watching this part of the video and probably saying, what the hell, Kiro? When did you add that lava effect? Well, let's just say that I was making some options of the painted lava and after I found one, I got carried away. I'm so sorry, guys, but this is what I did. One big drop of yellow and one of red. I'll dip the brush on the red, but just a little bit. And then I'm going to mix them very gently. I don't want to make actual orange paint, but to create this marble effect. Her head will be the core of her power, so I'm going to fill it up with lava. I'm dipping the complete brush on my mixture and apply it to the head with tapping motions. Do not brush the paint completely or else you'll mix the colors together and we'll end up with a plain orange. I am using the same technique on the arms and hands. I don't know about you, but I find it very satisfying how those colors merge together and create this very cool transition. At first, when Christina and I talked about our concept, I thought these sisters were going to be good and evil. But after I looked at her final design, I knew these two girls had no good intentions. Her doll is so delicate and powerful. I really loved her Ice Queen final look. And together they look like a very powerful duo that want to rule the entire world. What do you guys think? Write me a comment on how you picture their story should be. I really want to thank my friend Christina for giving me the opportunity to work with her. This collab was so fun to make. I'll post the link of her video down below, so go and watch it. Remember, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And beware, because Inferna is just the beginning of a story.